This is just a video demonstrating Final Cut Pro 7 uh, running in OS X El Capitan, the public beta 2. So I had some problem installing it initially on the first public beta, but the second beta that's come out, it installed properly, it runs properly, really nicely. So here's a bit of a rundown on the system. It's a MacBook Pro Retina mid-2014. Um, and it's as I say, it's running the uh, El Capitan version 2 of the beta, available for free from the App Store for the moment, released in full. So I wanted to do a quick test of Final Cut Pro, just to know what I'll be um, expecting come the real release of it, to see whether it would work or not with, with my current version. Um, so it installed properly. Here's a, here's a sped up version of, uh, of the video, basically showing that it basic editing. Um, the rest of the video I'll just go through opening up an existing project, um, doing colour correction, other effects, exporting, testing playback, um, all the rest of it. But here's just a cut down version. Um, also I go through setting up compressor and all the rest of it. It looks really good in El Capitan. I'm very pleased because I really like Yosemite and I believe El Capitan has a potential to improve performance and just clear things up under the bonnet slightly. A bit like um, Snow Leopard did to uh, Leopard and also Mountain Lion to Lion. So, so I'm very happy. It looks good so far in the Polar Beta. So here's me installing Final Cut Pro 7.3 off um, from my version. So it all looks good so far. As I said in the public beta number one, it didn't let me get this far. The installer stopped pretty much in the first step saying I couldn't run it. Whereas now it's installing very nicely. I've sped this up slightly. Um, there it goes, that's, that's nice, that's step one. Then I run the update for the App Store to take it up to 7.3. If you have a problem doing this, just check that you're, um, you haven't renamed Final Cut Pro in any way or you haven't got Final Cut Pro X, which tends to rename Final Cut Pro and that way you would find that the update wouldn't apply properly. You're looking to update from 7 to 7.0.3. Um, you can also get a download from the Apple uh, support pages if you don't want to use the App Store for that. So that's an alternative. I've got a link for that hopefully in the video. Um, here's just a, a slight extra thing install. I like to do this one and install Final Cut Pro um, straight away, which is to install a Canon uh, plug-in Final Cut Pro, which means that it'll happily accept the EOS file types for uh, ingesting of files from SD card. I like to do that, so here's here's a quick guide um, on how to do that. Um, you have to slightly edit it to work with, well I have to edit the, the camera plist files to make it work with my uh, particular camera, which is 600D or a, or a T3i, I think. Um, but that won't be important for most people, but it's part of my testing strategy. Very happy, at least it installed okay. Um, so that means it'll work my camera. Okay, next up, I'm going to launch Final Cut Pro for the first time. It's always a bit of a nerve wracking experience when you move to a new OS X. Will, you know, I've installed it, but will it work? So it looks good so far. It's running Final Cut 7.3.03. So the update worked. Um, it's asking about the normal nag about PAL, etc. Now it's profiling, that's when it's testing out the system, checking it's looking okay. I'll spend this up slightly, but it's pretty nippy here. And there it is, there's the interface. So far, so good. Next up, I'm just going to create a new project. It saves the project okay. Um, I'm going to capture some footage, as I say, from my Canon uh, camera SD card. So it's ingesting file through log and transfer. I can look through the videos, I can play one of them back. I've got sound, that sounds working, that's great. It's a nice, good sign. Um, and I attached two files just to ingest. I sped this up slightly, but you know, the speeds were just fine, great. So it's taking those clips and taking and converting to ProRes. Okay, next up I play them back in the viewer, I navigate them, I select a section, I take it to the timeline. So overwrite editing to the timeline seems to work fine. Um, just adding a clip, just some basic editing here. Um, then I apply transition. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Oh, and some text as well. I'm just basically trying to do anything to require some rendering so I can test that part of it. Colour correction, yeah, looks good, works okay. 
opens up that panel oh, and eventually needs some renderings and uh, does it render out yeah it does no problem but I can play back and I've still got sound okay and I'll finally export QuickTime movie that's ProRes the format I've been editing out of HD and there it goes uh, very quick I didn't quite believe how quick it was but mind you it's only a three second video um, and here's the video playing back in QuickTime that's all looks good yeah, fantastic okay next up I open an existing project uh, used under uh, Yosemite 7.0.3 under Yosemite and I've got some media missing but it opens up the file I've got one of the yeah. videos is still in there it plays back okay and it's showing all the clips which is good so um, it looks good to be on yeah. existing and finally I'm going to just show you how to run compressor so this is taking the f so setting up compressor. I'm going to set up a virtual cluster so I can all use all the cores of my process to render in compressor. So that's looking good. It didn't do that in Yosemite. So first look, it looks like this, it's actually working under El Capitan where it didn't under Yosemite. So I'm going to grab my file and I'm just going to get it so it converts to H.264 ready for upload to YouTube. That's looking good. And then I'm going to send it to submit to my Pro Cluster, and there it goes and it's now processing it and hopefully yeah, it starts and hopefully it should run on all cores of my processor or two of them I've set it to I think I've got four actually um, so yeah it nips through there quite quickly as you'd expect no problems which is great I, could, I couldn't do that until you said I had to just use a, the only core I had just one one process at a time and finally I'll just try out the other applications that come with Final Cut Studio so colour opens up which is good Uh, next one, well, we'll test the compressor ready. So DVD Studio Pro 4. For those who need to burn DVDs or HD DVDs off, uh, yeah, opens up. You can navigate it. And finally, the other one is Motion. Yeah, it's got a cross for it, so it won't run. Um, I think other people might have cracked it, but I certainly haven't. I haven't required it yet. But um, so that looks like that's an outstanding issue. But apart from that, Final Cut Pro seemed to run very nicely, and indeed, I've even edited this video on it.